Hi and welcome to the second video in my series on getting started with SketchUp 2014 Pro. My name is Chris and in this video we're going to talk about lines, planes, snaps, breaking, and healing as well as a couple other little bits here and there. So let's first start out with a bit of theory, a couple points of theory. The first thing I want to talk about is how inherently in SketchUp you're working in 3D space but you're working on a two-dimensional surface and that's your monitor. Your monitor is two-dimensional Model space is three-dimensional, and because of that, you wind up with some funny things that happen every once in a while. So in order to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do, and I hope this demonstration works, we're going to go ahead and we'll just draw some lines here, and, and there we go. Now, you'll notice here, this looks like it's all coplanar. It looks like it's all on the same plane and everything should be good. But in fact, if we rotate around this, you'll see we have some objects that are very, very much not on the same plane. And um, this is, again, because I was relying on the idea that what I saw was correct, when in fact I'm missing one degree of, of, of uh, freedom on this, one, one, one axis um, of depth. So just because it looks right doesn't necessarily mean it is right in, in SketchUp. And so we're going to talk about strategies to be able to work with that. The second thing that I wanted to talk to you about really quick is that everything in SketchUp is made up of lines and planes or faces. as what they're also called. Planes and faces are interchangeable. So if it's a rectangle, it's made up of lines. If it's a line, obviously it's made up of a line. If it's a circle, it's made up of lines. If it's an arc, it's made up of lines. Everything is made up of lines and faces. So let's go ahead and get drawing here. We already started drawing a little bit. I'm going to go and undo all that. We're going to go ahead and select the line tool here. Go ahead and click on that and just start drawing a line. And that's it. You click one point, click a second point, and your line's in. Now you can finesse this a lot more. You can select, for example, let's say we want to work on the axis on our origin right there, and we want the line to be 120 inches long. You'll notice down here at the bottom we have this length option. I'm going to go ahead and specify 120, and we have a line that's exactly 120 inches long. You can do this for pretty much any one of the tools. You can specify all sorts of stuff down here in this little dialog. And let's say we want to connect these two lines. You'll notice that there was a snap that let us pick an endpoint there, and there's a snap that lets us pick an endpoint here, and we can connect those two lines. Now you have multiple different snaps. You have a midpoint snap, uh, and you have what's called an inference, which is the ability to take two points. Let's see here if we can do it from the top and you can infer between the two. It's not working on those two. Let's try these two here, They're a little farther apart. And there we go. You see here we have these dotted, these dashed lines that connect these two here, and that's showing that it's inferred between that point and that point on the same plane. So we can draw a line that comes off. We can snap two specific axes. So for example, I'm pulling it over parallel to the red axis, and now I'm snapped to the red axis. You can snap to the green axis, you can snap to the blue axis. Now if you're having a hard time doing this, you can also force it to snap by using the arrows on your keyboard. So for example, if I want it to snap to the blue axis, I can press the directional arrow up, and all of a sudden I can only move up and down. Or I can go to the left, and all of a sudden I can only go forward and backward on that green axis. Or if I go to the right, I can only go left and right on the red axis. You can also snap perpendicular. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and pull out here and you can see I got this purple line that's coming out. That's perpendicular to the edge that I just snapped to. You can keep on keep on going with that there. Now you'll notice when I go ahead and, and complete the outline of an object, it fills in with a color. And that is your face or your plane. You also notice that there are two different colors for a face or a plane. There's a blue side or a gray side, and there's more of a white side. The white side is your positive face. The blue side is your negative face. And this is going to come into play when you start doing stuff with rendering or 
um, if you happen to pull stuff into a video game engine. I, I was playing around with the game engine and, and had the craziest time trying to get faces to show up, and it was because they were inverted. And the reason, the, the, uh, the way you can fix that really quickly is by selecting it, right clicking on it, and selecting reverse faces. And it will reverse those faces so you have the, uh, the opposite that you had before. Now let's talk about breaking really quick. Breaking is the process of dividing an object into multiple smaller objects. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and select the pencil tool here, the line tool. I'm going to go ahead and just click somewhere on the edge here, click somewhere on the edge here. And now when we go to select this, you'll notice this line is now broken in half. You can select that half, you can select this piece here, you can select that piece there. And it's no longer one continuous piece. And the same thing happens with this face. You'll notice this face is now divided to that side and that side. And that's breaking. The process of reversing that is called healing. And you do to do that, you select the erase tool up here, and you just erase the line that's that's breaking your other surfaces. Now you can see here we've got one continuous surface. And if you select this line, it's continuous. If you select that line, it's continuous. So, in a nutshell, we've got lines, we've drawn some lines, we can key in values down here under the measurements dialog to define how long a line is. You can specify which axis it's going on with the keyboard, uh, or with inference, or with snaps. You've got endpoint, midpoint, perpendicular snaps that you can work with, and um, we've talked about breaking and healing, and you should be fairly good at those at this point. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you thought this video was good, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was fantastic, go ahead and subscribe, and I will bring you more videos, and I will see you in the next video.